Vlog 439. We're taking our walk. We're going down a different street today. We're still gonna go up to the top also, but there's some really cool houses down here we'll show you guys. Now these look like normal flowers, but if you pick one and bite off the end, This is the best house right here. This is the driveway of the best house. It's kind of rustic. Whoops. There used to be a house here, but it burned down in a fire in the early 90s. And they just haven't built anything since. That's where we're going next. Yep. Vlogs ago, I showed you guys a guy that was building a car into a vacuum cleaner and taking it out to Burning Man. I didn't get to show you what the finished car looked like. This is what the car looked like. But now I'm gonna head over to his house because the car's there, it's in pieces. We're gonna get a little bit of a closer look. Let's take the caddy. That's the vacuum. What's left of it? <laughs> These are the side pieces. Top. Well, there's no one over here, but the car looks pretty cool. Back in the truck, I'm gonna take the dogs for a quick spin on the beach because it's super low tide. There's gonna be tide pools. I got my underwater camera. There's gonna be coolness. How do you feel uh, that the mermaid is coming along? Well, we had a setback. We do? We did. And do. Well, it's part of it. I, I ran guess. out of material. <laughs> I ran out of silicone. All right. So Bob had to go home, yep. and I had to order more silicone, which takes seven to ten days. Oh. So that's a setback. All right, so we got another week or so before you start up on it again. Yeah, but yeah. Bob and Sean just got a job, so we may have to... Well, I can do it myself. Yeah, Bob and Sean are working on Moana, the Disney movie. They're sculpting the main characters for that at their shop, so I'm not sure we'll get a chance to see them before they go in, but that's pretty cool.
just ran down the beach, jumped in the water, and his dog, a German Shepherd, went in right after him, and they've been swimming a couple hundred yards. Pretty good. Tomorrow is going to be an epic day. Three separate shows going on at the same time. And I'm going to try to hit them all. I'm not really sure if I can. It's possible. The first one is the JDM event at the Automobile Driving Museum where it's going to be all kinds of drift cars. Uh, incredible. Just, I'm hoping the turnout is going to be epic. After that is the Alt Car Expo, going to the Santa Monica Civic Auditorium. It's an electric car show. It's a car show full of electric cars. Going to spend a little bit of time there, you know, checking out uh, cars that are run on electricity. Then I'm going to try to head back home, and if I still have enough energy to hit for the rest of the day, I'm going to go to Galpin Motorsports, which is out in the valley, because they're celebrating my good buddy, Gene Winfield. He's getting the Lifetime Achievement Award from Galpin. I, I, just, I just really think I should be there for that, and I should take you guys along with me, because chances are there's going to be some very, very cool people there. Okay, side note, I took down the Wheels and Waves Facebook page because there's just too many Facebook pages that are floating out there. I got too many things to try and juggle. So I took down that page. Anything you want to know about Wheels and Waves, you can go to my Facebook page or you can go to the blog itself or you just can watch the blog here. You're gonna, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Like Sunday, there's a Wheels and Waves show. I mean, you know that already. So Schmoover. 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 That's the name of this vacuum car, the car that went to Burning Man. Gary, who built this car, uh, it's called the Schmoover. The car ended up in Vanity Fair. I, I don't know how that happens. Builds the car based on a vacuum, takes it out to Burning Man, does all kinds of shenanigans, and yeah, I showed you the video. Then the car ends up in Vanity Fair. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that uh, I had a friend of mine tell me it was Vanity Fair. It could have been Forbes. A uh, car is pretty dang funny. I mean, seriously, who builds a, a full-size it's not even a full-size vacuum. Full-size vacuum is like a regular vacuum that you actually vacuum things with. This was like a massive car-sized vacuum. Went around sucking things up out in the desert. Light, here, it's a pen. See, it's a pen. And it's a light, and it's also a laser. Holy, drive the dogs nuts with this. Okay, as I was saying, I was trying to take it easy today, not do too much, because tomorrow is a big, big, big day. Did I mention it's a big day? And that brings me to today's subject, which is about pacing. Pacing yourself, not to burn yourself out. You know, when you take on a project, most people have weekends, so they take a weekend and they can go do whatever they want. But pacing is really important because it, it, it's important. It's not so much a physical thing, it's a mental thing. This, all this stuff gets jumbled, it gets filled up with all this kind of stuff, and you need a way to release it. The best way is to remove your focus on what it is that you're working on and put it on something else, like walking on the beach. There's lots of ways to alleviate that uh, incessant pounding, but you have to consciously do that. You can't just randomly do it. You have to think, I'm gonna do this. And when you do that, it's like it's like taking a nap for your brain. Then you come back stronger and things are precisely awesome. That's why other countries have things like siestas and uh, Australia has the four-day work week. Be sure Australia has a four-day work week. If anybody who's from Australia who's watching this right now, uh, put down in the comments whether you guys have a four-day work week. Or unless you're like me, you just kind of keep going and going and going. Way I'm off point here, stay focused and, and give yourself a break. Give yourself that weekend or that hour, whatever it is, to recoup, get your energy back, and then get going at it. All right, that's it. This is Vlog 439. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join me on my Facebook page because that's where we're going to get all the wheels and wave stuff. Plus, it's just a cool place to hang out. Got lots of cool cars. Join me there. Hang out. I know Facebook is kind of seems like it's like an old people thing. Instagram's a young people thing. Oh, it doesn't really matter to me. It's just a place to hang out and do cool stuff. That's it. Vlog 439. I already mentioned that. See you tomorrow.